this Mother's Day, give your mom a gift from the heart with something you made yourself. Joining us to show you how to make wine glass charms is Amber Ladley. She's one of the co-owners of Knack in East Hampton. So we're making these adorable little wine glass charms that are personalized and really super easy to make. They are super easy to make. Um, and all you need is some bottle caps, some paper, and some decoupage glue. And so I'll just show you. Um, we've already prepped these um, bottle caps and we've covered them with a chalkboard paint. So if you wanted to give your guests a piece of chalk to put their initials on the back, um, they could do that. I want to show how, how you do This is so cute. All right, so <laughs> you already put my initial on there. Okay. So this is the, the bottle cap and you covered them with, it's a spray paint that you Chalkboard, use. yep. And then you can put your initial so that everyone knows which wine glass yours is. I mean, that's not that great, but that's, that's cool. Yeah. All right, now the other thing too is that they don't have to be for wine glasses, they can also be for necklaces. That's right, yep. If, you, if um, mom doesn't drink or if you wanna make it more of a kid, kid craft, uh, you can use it as a necklace charm. So I have one on here, and I've also put these here that, um, that are on st strings. That is so cute. Okay, so how do we do it, Amber? Yeah, so, and you don't have to use chalkboard paint. You could. Uh, color it with any color paint or not color it at all um, and basically to punch the hole you know you'd want an adult to do this but I have an awl you could use a hammer and nail and just kind of on the side there right um, right in one of the creases you just kind of give it a couple pops. Now don't do this on your kitchen table. No. As you can see <laughs> Amber has this board that she uses <laughs> so that you don't poke any holes in a, a good piece of furniture. <laughs> yes definitely um, and that's it so these have all been prepped and the next thing you want to do is um, use a jump ring so we have jump rings here and the way you want to open a jump ring is by mm -hmm. uh, moving them in opposite directions uh, as opposed to pulling them apart because they can tend to break um, if you do that. Okay, so you just open them. This is a jump ring and you just separate the, the two openings, right? The, the two sides. Right, and if you didn't have jump rings, you could use some wire or even a paper clip that you could bend into, into a circle. Mm -hmm. um, and you just want to put that through the hole there and close it up. Easy. And that's it. And then, um, and then you can start decoupaging. So we have a lot of paper here. Yes, look at all these choices. <laughs> and it can be anything. So the, what I've learned from you and, and Macy is to save everything. <laughs> Organize it though so you know you have it. But save your bottle caps, save every little bit of everything because it could come in handy down the road. Yeah. So this is all the paper we have to choose from. I kind of already went through it. And I like this because this paper has words on it and I like fun and sunshine. Okay. So I can punch out sunshine here, right? Yep. And so we've got a one inch circle punch that fits perfectly in a bottle cap. If you don't have the punch, um, a quarter fits just um, as a perfect size. You could just trace a quarter and then cut that circle out. Do you want to pick one? Or um, I have some oh, already okay. punched. Yep. Pre-punched. Okay. So I have this okay. in my cap. All right. And then we're just going to use um, the decoupage glue you want. You could use Mod Podge or this um, little Elmer's three to one and water. Um, does the same thing. Okay. And so you just want to put a little decoupage glue inside the cap. Thank you. Okay. And then, uh, all right, so we're almost out of time, but I want to ask you while we're yep. doing this, all throughout the show, we're asking everyone what their mother taught them about life. Well, my mom has taught me a lot. She's a very crafty and inspirational woman, um, but I think above all, it's uh, to be myself. She's always said, be yourself. <laughs> and you are. Thank that you. you are. And you're a mother yourself. Yes. You have uh, two kids. Yes, I do. And we always love having you on. Thank Amber. you. So nice I love to, to be here. here. Happy Mother's Day to Thank you. Thank you. Same to you. And so now I have this done, and then it's pretty much ready. Yep. Yeah, you, you want to put a little bit of glue on top of the paper, kind of rub it around with your finger there. Um, it will dry clear, so you just kind of leave it. Okay. To, to dry and then um, to do the wine charm piece, you just need another, a larger ring that will fit around the rim of a, of a glass. Oh my goodness, I love it. I gotta get, come in and see you guys and get crafting. Yes. That's so <laughs> cute. Well, happy Mother's Day. Thank so nice you. to have you here. And if you want even more ideas for mom, head over to our website, mymassappeal.com later on today.